everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Angie here at Angie's Crafting with Diamonds, or as I'm starting to call myself, the Sparkle Addict. When I first started my channel, I was torn between Angie's Crafting with Diamonds or the Sparkle Addict, and I'm starting to think the Sparkle Addict is good too. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. This is a new release from Diamond Art Club. This is Breathe Your Name by the artist Dimitra Milan. It is licensed. It is square. And on this box, you are going to see all the scan codes, all the instructions to diamond paint, and everything is here. And we know it's a square because of the blue square here. Also over to the right is my faithful little assistant, Kisses. She's 15 years old this week. Good girl. <laughs> Having her afternoon nap. So let's get into the box and use my little scissors here to get in. Oops. So I'm excited to see this kit because I have quite a collection of this artist's art in my stash. Yeah. I in fact did a Dimitra Milan video of unboxings and I'll throw a link for that and I'm going to do my best to put it up here in the eye and if it's not in the eye I'll put it down below in the description as well so you can find it. So okay great we're still getting these Milan inserts. That is fun. And where's my little sticker? There's my sticker. There's my sticker. So this is the uh, insert that they always had in here. And I absolutely love, love, love this. It is so cool. And I am dying for this kit to come out down here in the right hand corner. Just dying. I would love, love, love that kit to come out. But this one I believe has already been out and it's beautiful too. Awesome. So yeah, it's all about the artist. We have our sticker, which you can place on the end of your box or in your journal, whatever you want to do with it. Put that over there. I have the toolkit, which I'm going to open because other people are rumoring that you're supposed to open the toolkit first, and I haven't been doing that. Eh, I can do it first. Sure, why not? We'll do it real quick because most people have seen the contents of these kits. So we have our reusable bag, which you do not have to tear because there's a Ziploc inside, so you can use this to store whatever you need. We have our sparkle pen and squishy here. This is a pretty green one and they're different in every kit. I have some pretty washi tape, which you can use to mark off your sections or the little bit of glue overage around the edge of the canvas. We have our sharp pointy tweezers. They're branded with Diamond Art Club. And they come in the square kits. We have our, whoops, our double container, a little heart box here of two pads of wax, and there is plastic on there. If you're new, you'll need to peel the plastic off before you start diamond painting and put your pen in there. And that's more than enough for a kit. I don't think I've ever used two pads of wax for a kit. Comes also with um, some baggies. It won't be enough if you're new to kit up your entire painting, but it is a good start. And then we have a really cute Dolphin cover minder, super cute. Whoops, there he is. It's even got sparkles in him. That's perfect, perfect. And we have two multi-placers, a four and seven placer. They're the nice thin ones. I use these all the time, especially in my round kits. And then we have the Diamond Art Club tray with the removable spout plug. Spout plug. Probably not what it's called. I guess so. I guess it is the plug for the tray, right? Anyway, so you shake that uh, gently and line up your drills and that's it for the toolkit. Let's take a look now at my silliness. 
And our club sends their kits in this really nice dust bag. And I will do my best to open this without um, ripping said bag. Sometimes I'm just better off to use my scissors and uh, open it. But we might get lucky today, you never know. Um, we didn't, I ripped it. And here we have our drills, our sticker sheets. Ooh, two sticker sheets. Woohoo. So first we'll take a look at the instructions that are standard in every kit. In here are the, some scan codes to enter the VIP Facebook group where there's lots of cool information and announcements. There's some scan codes on the back to save off your next purchase. And there's instructions. Oh, right. There's also instructions in here on how to diamond paint. If you are needing those instructions, that's good. Then we have two sticker sheets. Wow, I didn't realize this had that many colors. So I'm also not only a sparkle addict, but I'm also a serial starter. So I like to put my start date in here so I can kind of keep track of when I start things. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I just love abstract art. This is absolutely fabulous. This kit has one, two, three. AB drills, ABs are numbered under 150 within Diamond Art Club. And there are 72 colors. And all these stickers here are all removable. So I often save these extra stickers to use for kitting up extras and things like that. But I also notice we have two special drills at the end, 71 and 72. And they're probably fairy dust diamonds, is my guess. I just love that. And here's our drills. We'll look at them after, but it's the bag is marked with the kit name. You can see there's tons of pretty colors in here. Very pretty. So this canvas is poured glue. Most places have poured glue canvases nowadays. The only ones I know of that are not poured glue are the Josephine Walmax kit set Diamond Painting Deutschland. I'm sure there's a couple others around, but pretty much everyone is doing poured glue now. So with poured glue, you can pour, roll your canvas backwards with double-sided adhesive. You shouldn't because you will create rivers. So let's take a look. Boom. Oh, isn't that stunning? Ooh, I like, really like this. Oh, this is just stunning. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I just don't even know what to think. Absolutely beautiful. I love the combination of the flowers in with the panther and all these sparkles and stars. It's going to be so much fun to bling up. Although I'm pretty sure these are probably... All these dots are probably the white ABs, which I would just probably switch out for some crystals. And then put in a couple quad cubes in here, and maybe a couple over here. That would be really nice. So we have our two special drills. So I'm gonna open the drills next. I'm gonna lay them out, and then we'll look at where the special drills go. So hang on a sec. So there they are, all 72 colors. That's a lot. That's crazy. So I guess I will pan through them so you can see the color numbers. There are three bags of black. And we get into some pinks. The Diamond Art Club weights their bags. They do the largest volume colors first. There's some really nice colors in here. Let's go through the colors. I am looking for the ABs. And there I see one. 132 is maybe super pretty orange. And I see another one in here. 140, 114 AB. I'll pull that one out too. And we'll take a gander, kind of give an idea of where the ABs are in here. Take a look around. Lots of purples. In blue. I bet this is going to be just gorgeous when it's all finished. In fact, I love this one so much, I think I might just kit it up 
right after I film this. Oh, and there's our first special drill. Looks like a fairy dust diamond. You see the sparkles on that? It's slightly, a slightly different glimmer than the ABs. It's like a little softer sheen. It's really pretty. Oh, and there I see the 141, the white ABs, which is the easiest way to see the white AB coating. Like I've said many times, it's like seeing the coating in its purest form because it's against a pure white background. So you can really see the pearlescent on there. It's really pretty. And this little piece here. And we are still looking for a fairy dust diamond. Unless I skipped right on by it, in which case I will find it and show it to you. And then I have, I don't have my glasses on. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is at the very end. This little orange one. Really soft orangey sparkle on that one. So I'm just going to pause and move this to save you from the crinkly. So I'm back. So first we'll take a look at where our ABs go. And there's three of those. And there's symbol number one, number two, and the dot. So symbol number one is this red. And I see them here in the flowers, in here in all these flower shapes. It has spread throughout some more over here and down here. That's super pretty. This is one of my favorite ABs. I love that color. I have extra too left over, so I might even add some more just because I love them so much. The next one is 132. This really pretty orange AB. And it is number two. And number twos are here, all around this sort of mystical background. And this, and it's more like, this is like a dreamscape, kaleidoscope. That's how I feel about it. Mm. There's a plain one, we'll stick over there. And then all these white ABs are everywhere you see a little dot. And I might switch those out for crystal ABs just because I happen to have some because the crystals would just be extra special to use, but these are pretty too, and it would look nice. Next, we have this triangle symbol, which is this really soft, pretty pink, and it's really hard to see in the package. I'll try and shake it around, but it's super pretty. Very, very slight shimmer. So that is a triangle, and it's through her, her cheekbones here, and I see it here in this flower and this flower and down in here in this big flower in her shoulder. It's just in all the shapes for some fun. And there's this ever tiny little bit of this one, which is an L. And interesting, it's in her cheek here. But it's not a strong AB, so I bet you that will look really nice just in that placement here. And there's a little bit back here in this little spot. And I don't see it anywhere else. That's interesting. Interesting choice. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here and watching my video. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.